everybody, Ian from RTO here. I hope you're all well. Um, welcome to Wednesday. Um, we all know what Wednesday is. It's Marathon Day. And of course today we've got a big plan as, as usual. Uh, today we are doing Magnum. Now Magnum, for those of you that have never heard of them, um, especially if you don't if you live outside the UK, they're a hard rock band formed by Tony Clarkin and Bob Catley. Catley or Catley. Um, they formed a band so they become a resident of a bar, a bar nightclub in Birmingham called Rum 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 Runner. Um, Duran Duran became the house band there eventually. Um, they've had a few lineups, obviously. You know, when you've been going since the seventies, you uh, you do come up with a lot of people coming in and out. Um, there's an off there's an offshoot band of past members now called Kingdom of Madness, which are pretty good. Um, and they've re released 21 studio albums so we'd better get started then as we got 21 so coming in at number 21 we have the 10th album 1993 keep the night light burning. Now this is a uh, acoustic set of songs done in the studio and the band at the time was Bob Catley, Tony Clarkin, Wally Lowe on the bass, Mark Stanway keyboards and Mickey Barker on the drums. So they, what they did they got a collection of their songs and did acoustic versions. Um, first one they do is the prize off the 11th hour it's just very dreary actually <laughs> it's not very good at all uh, heartbroken busted from goodnight LA uh, this doesn't sound too bad actually it's one of the better tracks foolish heart off magnum 2 it's absolutely naff doesn't sound nothing like what it should do doesn't even resemble the same track. Um, Lonely Nights from Vigilante, a little bit dreary again. It just doesn't go as anywhere and meanders. Start talking love doesn't sound right as an acoustic track. Full stop. Um, only in a mirror. Only in a merry memory. Sorry, <laughs> till it's early in the morning. Uh, worst track on the album. It just it's just horrible. Need a lot of love now how can a band actually muller their own out song right? and they did I'm afraid it's not a very good version of it that's off Vigilante maybe tonight there's a b-side of Days of No Trap this is a very good version of the song I like that one um, One Night of Passion it's not too bad that's come off the 11th hour Without Love uh, off the Lost Road to Eternity and I've got the itchy nose uh, nice version of this song actually Shoot uh, from Goodnight LA pleasant enough but a bit lacklustre in Soldier on the Line from Trace the Dragon just doesn't do it for me uh, this album I don't play very often because I don't really like it it's the only album I really don't like from Magnum. Every other album is pretty solid. Um, but this acoustic album just didn't work for me. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10. Okay, let's get on to the proper albums now. So coming in at number 20 is the 8th album released in 1990, Good Night LA. Uh, this features Bob Catley, Tony Clarkin, Wally Lowe, Mark Stanway and Mickey Barker. Uh, first track on here is Rocking Chair. 
great track, my favourite off the album. Really good rocker this is, solid track. Um, Mama, it's an okay track. The track is really good, but it's the production. It's too clean and it sounds very American. Um, I'll explain this at the end of when we've looked at this album why. Um, Only a Memory, this isn't too bad. I like the guitar work. I like the um, guitar solo in this from Tony Clarkin, but it's too. It just doesn't sound like Magnum to me. Reckless Man, uh, going for the broader audience here, and it just lacks something. Matter of Survival, worst track on the album. It's just a wishy-washy sentimental hands waving in the air type track mm, not for me and it doesn't it's not what I expect from Magnum um, what kind of love is this great track really sounds like proper Magnum here really good heartbroken and busted well it certainly sounds a lot better than the acoustic version and it's got a really good guitar solo from Tony Clarkin Shoot, potential a very very good track, but it's overproduced. The drums sound terrible, and it and Mickey Barker is a great drummer, but this doesn't complement him at all. No way out, awful track, very plastic to me. Uh, Cry for you, another wishy washy track. It just doesn't. It doesn't sound like Magnum. It, it's not Magnum. Uh, Born to me, Born to be King. The words are great. This is a great Tony Clark in song. He writes some really good, strong stuff. Uh, but it's the production. It just doesn't work. So that was the last track. Okay, as I've said, these some of the songs on here are great. Tony Clark in is superb. But Magnum made a bit of a boo boo here they went to America to try and crack America and I, and I don't I get that but they went to Keith Olsen now Keith Olsen is a great producer but I to, this didn't work he tried to clean up this and give it that American feel and, and unfortunately Magnum are a very British band um, it didn't work and this is why it's my it's, it's at the bottom of the pile there are some great tracks on here but I think this album needs remixing actually remixing or re-recording uh, so we can listen to how these tracks really should be um, so I can, I can give this an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10 ok coming in at number 19 the 12th album in 2002 now this was the first album since the breakup of uh, six years previous so this is the start of the reincarnated Magnum um, Breath of Life okay on here we have got Tony Clark in Bob Catley um, by this time Wally Lowe and Mickey Barker had gone so they brought in Al Barrow and Mark Stanway was back on the keyboards. The drums here were done a little bit by Tony Clarkin and drum samples. Yeah, drum samples. Uh, first track, Cry. Just not keen on this. It, the drum sampling just ruins it. Full stop. It's not a bad track, it's just, you know, why do we have to have synthetic drums? This Heart, this track isn't too bad, it's got a great bass line, Al Barrow is a really good bass player, and of course Mark Stanway is an amazing keyboard player. Um, they lift this track, but again, that drum just sounds plastic, technical robotic monotonous I could go on um, every day again great composition from Tony Clarkin Bob sings it great 
drum machine. Oof. Still. The best thing about this track is Mark's Stanway's keyboard, and that's all I'll say about that one. Dream About You. Uh, again, the keyboards are solid. Bob Catley's singing his heart out. But it's the drum machine. It's certainly not rock and roll, is it? Breath of Life. The only good thing about the Breath of Life is Tony Clarkin's guitar solo. Um, after the Rain, nice key work, keyboards from Mark Stanway. He is absolutely brilliant. Great guitar riffs on this. And then you get that genetic drum beat. Yuck. That, that holy touch. I feel that there's some actually a more drumming from Tony Clarkin on this because it is half decent. Uh, but then it gets a little bit of the drum machine coming in, it makes it an unnatural sound. Let somebody in. Not very good at all. Just too generic. The Face of the Enemy. I like this one. Great uh, guitar arrangements, lots of wah wah. And even the drum machine actually sounds like a drum on this. I can go with that one. Just like January. I like the tune. I like the melody. I hate the drums. Night After Night. <sighs> Definitely not. My cup of tea. Except it. Tony Clarkin does a great guitar solo on it. Okay, after six year breakup, the ex expectation of this al album was high for Magnum fans. Um, but I'm sure they could have found a, a session drummer. There's a lot of good drummers out there in this in the UK. Why use a drum machine? This is probably the weakest album of the reincarnation of. Um, Magnum. It's probably one of the were not the worst album they've ever made. I think these tracks sound a lot better with a drummer on them. I mean, I've heard some of them live, and they do sound a lot better. But as an album, it spoils it. The drum machine. Um, so I'll give it an RTO ranking of seven out of ten. Okay, from now on. The albums are pretty solid. Um, this was probably the hardest ranking I have ever ever had to do because I do love Magnum. Apart from the ones we've just talked about, which are the sort of suspect albums, everyone else, every other album that they brought out, it's got some great tracks on it. One or two, you know, every band has one or two that you're not keen on, but. Um, I'd say 99.9% .9 of these tracks I love. And I love listening to Magnum. So let's get cracking. Um, number 18, uh, 17th studio album, released in 2012, um, on the 13th day. This featured Tony Clarkin on guitar, Bob Catley on the vocals, Al Barrow on the bass as ever, Mark Stanway on the keys, and Harry Drames on the drums. This is when Thunder were not doing anything, so he came and drummed with Magnum. Okay, first track, All the Dreamers. Great track, rich sound. Back to basics here, and a very, very good track. Um, Blood Red Laughter, solid, solid track. Harry Drames is brilliant. I mean, I think he's a great drummer anyway. Um, he drums into all my favourite bands, and uh, it's a great track. Didn't like you anyway. It's not too bad. Nice riffs in this. Uh, good vocal from Bob Catley as ever. Solid track. On the 13th day, this is what I call bog standard magnum rock. Um, very, very good track. Solid. So let it rain. 
not one of my favourite tracks by any means, but I do love Mark Stanway's keyboards in this. Really lifts the track and makes it very listenable. Let me get my favourite track on this album, Dance of the Black Tattoo. This is a great heavy track. Love that dirty riff at the beginning. Um, absolutely brilliant. Harry on the drums. The drumming, a Magnum drumming is it's quite good. It's always got a nice deep tone to it. Brilliant track. Shadow Town. I don't like this one very much. I don't know why. It's listenable, but it's not particularly a favourite. Putting things into place. It's a good track, but it just needs a little something else to lift it. There's nothing lift in this track. It's a good track, but it, it, it just lacks something. Broken Promises. Tony Clark in riffing away here. Sinister stuff. Sinister riff on this. Mark Stanway as ever. That soothing keyboard sound he's got lifts this track again. Absolutely superb track. Um, see how they fall. This reminds me of the start of Kingdom of Madness, another song. Um, sounds absolutely brilliant. This does driving drums, driving riffs. Great track. From within. A uh, typical Magnum rock track, gets your feet tapping, Bob's vocals are fantastic. Okay, this is a solid album again from uh, Magnum, got some very very good tracks on and some weaker tracks, but it's still a good album and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 17, 14th album, released in 2007, Princess Alice and the Broken Arrow. Um, got, some got some interesting tracks on this, some very good tracks. Oh dear, excuse me. Big mug of coffee today. Okay. This features Tony Clarkin on guitar, Bob Catley on the vocals, Al Barrow on the bass guitar, Mark Stanway keyboards, the only album to feature Jimmy Coakley on the drums, and we have got a guest musician on the last track, and I'll tell you when we get to it. Uh, first track, When We Were Younger, I love Al Barrow's bass line on this very very strong Tony Clarkin again riffing around great riffs he comes up with and nice guitar solos and again Mark Stanway's keyboards are just great bunging Bob on the on the vocals it's a it's a classic track from Magnum open wide eyes open wide solid track Got some a bit of acoustic guitar going on here. Lovely little track. Like Brothers We Stand. Solid enough. Not my favourite, but it's solid. Um, Out of the Shadows. Love the opening uh, guitar riff from Tony Clarkin on this. Some great drumming from Jimmy Copley. One of my favourite tracks. Very, very good. Uh, Jeragons Are Real. This has got a really catchy hook, something that Tony Clarkin is a genius at. Gets you hooked in straight away, lovely. Inside Your Head, a classic slow ballady type track from Magnum. Tony Clarkin has wrote some great slow songs and this is a really good one. Uh, Be Strong, terrific track. Absolutely brilliant, great guitar work, a little bit funky in places, keyboards are brilliant. Uh, it reminds me that Mark's playing on this, a bit like Superstitious from Stevie Wonder, that sort of groove, very, very good. Uh, thank you for the day. It's solid, 
very solid track from the from Magnum. Your Lies, again, and I don't mean this in a horrible way because it's not, just a solid Magnum track. It does what it says on the tin. Magnum, you know what you're getting, and that is one of them. Last track, my favourite track on the album called You Never Sleep. This features on the violin the one and only Mr. Jim Lee from Slade. Um, great track, great little rocker, and Jimmy's fiddle playing as ever is brilliant, and it adds to this great track. Okay, another consistent album from Magnum, of course. Some great tracks on this. There's a couple that are a little bit below par for me, but they're such a great band, so solid as you like. And I give it an RTO ranking of 8.4, and it's only at number 17. So this is how much I think of this band. Um, so coming in at number 16 is the 13th album, and it's the second of the reincarnation and it was the first one to feature Harry Drum, Harry James on the drums so we've got Tony Clark in as ever, Bob Catley, Al Barrow, Mark Stanway and Mr Harry James um, Brand New Morning, solid opening great to hear Harry on the drums again uh, he fits into this band like a glove with his style of drumming, uh, terrific tra track. Brand new morning is great. To, it was great to hear drums back in the band instead of that drum machine. It's time to come together again. One of them solid tracks from Magnum. Uh, we all run. It's got a nice melody to this. It's a bit of a shuffle. Um, it's got a hook, a catchy hook, and it helps with um, Bob's singing. It gets you in. It's a fantastic track. I love that one. Um, the Blue and Grey. A nice, gentle moving song with a great guitar solo. Tony Clark in it is a underrated guitar player, without a doubt. I Breathe For You. Another great song. Outstanding performance by Mark Stanway again. He's got, you know when he's playing on something. Uh, it's, it's really good. Last Goodbye. Another track. Some driving riffs again. Uh, Al Barrow's bass line in this is fantastic. Just a solid track. Um, Immigrant Son. Again, some lovely guitar work from Tony Clarkin. He's such a good musician songwriter. Fantastic track. Hard Road. Bob Catley's vocal on this is superb. Great singer. The Scarecrow. Nice bass line again. Al Barrow doing the business. But the only thing about this track, it's about four minutes too long. It's about nine minutes. It doesn't need to be that long. It sort of just fizzles out a little bit. Certainly a better album than uh, Breath of Life. Great, great. They were back on form with this one. And they were starting to get back into the groove. Um, and I give it an RTO ranking of 8.5. Okay, coming in at number 15, 19th album, released in 2016, it was the last album that Mark Stanway would play on, and Harry Drames, who went back to rejoin Thunder. So you've got Tony Clark in, Bob Catley, Al Barrow, Mark Stanway and Harry Drames. Sacred Blood Divine. First track is the title track. Um, great track. One of Al Barrow's finest bass lines. But this album, they are really in the groove. Um, 
they seem in the second reincarnation the, the every album that comes out it's like a good bo a bo a bottle of wine it gets better with age and these have by this time 2016 they have really in the groove that's a great track crazy old mothers some really nice keyboard work from Mark Stanway on his last album and his interplay with Tony he's been brilliant it's a shame that it broke down uh, brilliant track that is Gypsy Queen classic track Tony Clarkin's key, keyboard he plays guitars Ian his, key, his guitar solo in this is absolutely spot on Princes in Rags solid track from a very consistent band um, Your Dreams Won't Die a uh, bit of a filler sorry to say it's okay but it's not the best one Afraid in the Night sounds very very classic um, Magnum this does from the earlier days just brought up to date Mark Stanway all over this terrific track uh, Forgotten Conversation not the best one Quiet Rhapsody love this favourite track it's got everything that I expect in a Magnum track driving riffs great harmonising keyboards great drum and a great vocal from Bob they're such a down to earth band and that's just that's just Magnum the quintessential Magnum sound is all in this song Twelve Wise Men and Just another of my favourite tracks it's got some nice harmonies in here uh, and a very good drum performance from Mr Harry James and the last track Don't Cry Baby again it's got that signature magnum sound I love it a very very solid album of course um, their later albums are pretty impressive you know from that safe, shaky reincarnation start where Tony decided to bring a drum machine to the studio I'm glad they got rid of that uh, this is a stunning album and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.6 Okay, coming in at number 14, we've got the 16th album, released in 2011, The Visitation. Got that steady lineup of Tony Clark in, Bob Catley, Al Barrow, Mark Stanway and Harry James. Um, Black Skies is the first track. Got some delicate touches on the drums from Harry James. Very versatile drummer. Uh, a moody bass line from, from Al Barrow then Mark Stanway comes in with that nice flow of keyboard runs and then you, Mr Clarkin comes in riffing away as ever solid track Doors to Nowhere great rocker this is great riffs Hammond organ at the beginning what more do you need title track The Visitation really good track a little bit different for Magnum this is it's got a nice bass line delicate drums again delicate touches on guitar great keyboarding Bob's voice is strong as ever these are very good musicians that work well together and it's a superb track Wild Angels again it's just brilliant stuff for Magnum flowing keyboard runs for Mark again nice riffs and guitar solo from Tony brilliant um, spin like a wheel as I said Tony Clarkin has got this happy at white writing some catchy hooks this has got a catchy hook I can hear this song in my head now um, drum and the bass though are the best thing on this Al Barrow, Harry James, 
top men. The Last Frontier. Favourite track on this album. Starts with a, another fantastic eerie bass line from Al Barrow. Then Mark Starmay just comes in and adds to the atmosphere. And everyone else comes in and it's a fantastic track. Freedom Day. More of these catchy hooks. Great drumming. It's got a really deep sound. I just love it. Mother Nature's Final Dance. One of these tracks that goes back to the real heyday of Magnum. Um, floods back lots of memories from the mid 80s. Terrific song. Midnight Kings. Tony Clarkin playing like a. I don't know what. He's just a superb guitar player. Uh, drumming on this is sublime. What more can you ask for? Tonight's the night, the last track. Very 70s feel to this. The keyboard's great. Um, some great power riffs. Brilliant track. The albums are just getting better and better. Um, from here on now, it's just pure solid magnum. Um, love these albums to bits. This is no different from any other album and I give it an RTO ranking of 8.7 ok coming in at number 13 this is the most current album the 21st the Serpent Rings released last year 2020 so this was the first Magnum album to feature the new bass player Dennis Ward and we have got Tony Clarkin, Bob Catley, Dennis Ward, Rick Benton, and Lee Morris. So this is the current lineup. First album they put out together. Um, first track, Where Are You, Eden? This has got to be one of my favourite starts to any um, Magnum track. Brilliant. And it, and it just sounds good. You wouldn't think they'd change people around. It's very consistent. You can't run faster than bullets. Love the title of that. This is a hard rock track. Superb. Uh, Madam or Messiah. Um, this has got some great keyboards from the new lad. Rick Benton, when he's not a lad. Been around a bit. Great keyboard player. He had big shoes to fill. And he certainly did. The Archway of Tears. Stonking track. Great Magnum track that one is. Not Forgiven. Tony Clarkin. Very uplifting track. Catchy riffs. Catchy hooks. Great stuff. Title track, The Serpent Rings. This is brilliant. It's up there with the Dracratics already. Love that track. It's got every, again, every element that you expect when you're listening to a Magnum track, especially one of the longer tracks. Gets you hooked from the minute it starts right to the end. House of Kings. Keyboard running, this is brilliant stuff. Bob Catley's voice as strong as ever. Um, brilliant stuff. Um, the un the great unknown. It's one of the weaker tracks on the album. This is again one of the only tracks I don't particularly like by the band. Um, man, this can be very. This is very progressive metal. It's not heavy as progressive metal, but it's done in that sort of tone. Great stuff, great keyboards in this, superb. The last one on Earth, one of Magnum's nice slow songs, awesome. Got some nice little riffs in this and a superb guitar solo as ever. Crimson on the White Sand, great track. Okay, 21 albums in and you're still making solid stuff like this. Very underrated rock band. 
and Bob Catley's voice has not changed that much. He's, I mean, he's, he's sang on every Magnum album and his voice has never failed, it's never cropped. Brilliant. Uh, so I'll give this album an RTO ranking of 8.8. .8. Okay then, coming in number 12, let's go to the where it all started for them. 1978, debut album, Kingdom of Madness. Lineup back in those days was Bob Catley on both calls, Tony Clark in guitars, Richard Bailey keyboards and flute, and Keck scoring on the drums. Very interesting album. <laughs> Doesn't sound anything like the Magnum today, but it was still a very good album. Um, first track in the beginning. Love this keyboard work at the beginning by Richard Bailey. Absolutely amazing track. Very proggy, uh, but it's a great track. Um, Baby Rock Me. Great 70s rock track here. Tony's guitar work were very, very good. Um, Wally Lowe's bass player, he's, he was solid. I mean, he was with them for a very long time. Great bass player. Didn't just play the bass. He, he near enough did solos on the bass. Great bass player. Brilliant. Third track. Universe. Uh, it's a little bit... Um, off kelter kilter sorry um i don't don't dislike it i think they were just trying to experiment a bit and this is one track that didn't work out and i don't think they went back and did this sort of track again I've always moved boys next track one of my favorite tracks by um magnum it's the brilliant kingdom of madness what I like about this, you get that nice acoustic start and the flute from Richard Bailey and then we get that classic riff on the guitar from Tony Clarkin. Um, very proggy and it is a great track and the fans love it to this day. Brilliant track. Next track, All That Is Real. Uh, you could see what was going to come for Magnum with this one. Uh, some great early riffs. This is very raw and basic, but it, the sound was going to come. You knew what was coming. Um, bring up very 70s, a bit jazzy fusion, but it's a terrific track. Uh, Invasion. I'd say this is one of the first tracks that Tony Clarkin showed his uh, capabilities. Very good track. Then we get the Lord of Chaos. Um, very basic rock and roll. Great funky riff. Love the track. All come together. Lots of electric piano and great drumming from Kex. Keyboards, terrific very proggy for that time this was a great debut album I love this album it's got a bit you know they were experimenting you've got some prog in there you've got a bit of jazz fusion a uh, bit of experimental but it's a very enjoyable album and I do play it a lot and I give it an RTO ranking of 8.9 Okay, time for a drink. Okay, coming in at number 11 then, is the 11th studio album, released in 1994. This was like the last album of the Reef, the first incarnation. Uh, rock art, last appearances of Wally Lowe and Mickey Barker. So we have got Tony Clarkin as ever, Bob Catley, Wally Lowe, 
Mark Stanway, Mickey Barker, addition new musicians, uh, Jackie Graham on backing vocals, and Mo Birch, of course, sang backing vocals on um, the UB40, to name one band. Uh, she's in Kingdom of Madness now. Uh, great singer and a very nice lady. I actually met her. She is an absolute diamond. And then PJ Wright plays pedal steel guitars. Okay, first track. We all need to be loved. Mickey Barker on the drums here. A really, really solid drum performance. Um, still a little bit electronic in there, but it's a very, very good track. Uh, I like that track a lot. Hard Hearted Woman. Love this track. Great bass line from Mr. Wally Lowe. And he sort of, him and um, Tony Clark in work round each other, complement each other. Nice little rocker. rocker. Uh, back in your arms again. Uh, one of these tracks that's a little bit. It's not bad, it's not brilliant. It sits there, but it's got great drumming on it. And Tony Clarkin's guitar solo is fantastic. That's what I like about it, the guitar solo. Then we get Rock Heavy. Starts off with a classic riff from Tony Clarkin. Um, Bob Catley's vocals on this are terrific. Superb track. Then we get to, uh, probably one of my favourite songs by wrote by Tony Clarkin. Uh, the Tool Ships. I just love this track. I love the keyboards in this. I love the. I just love everything about this tra track. I've seen Magnum do it, and I've seen the Kingdom of Madness do it. It was one of the best tracks of that show at, at Milton Keynes Stables. Tall Ships, superb track. Telltale Eyes. More that hard driving um, bass line from Wally Low. The typical sprinklings of Clarkson's Clarkin's guitar keyboards are on top notch great vocal from Bob Love is a Stranger interesting song this is a little bit different but the keyboard in this is absolutely lifts it into another dimension it is a really good track then we get a lovely track Usher by Baby that Jack's a jazzy bluesy song uh, great bass from Wally brilliant track and Bob sings it spot on versatile singer just this side of heaven solid track again just brilliant magnum I will decide myself not the best song on the album. Then we get a truly amazing song on Christmas Day. This is Tony Clark in writing about that first Christmas in the First World War when they played, you know, when they all got together. Absolutely brilliant lyrics, brilliant song, fantastic. Again, a very, very good album. At the time, when they brought this out and they toured saw them on this tour brilliant and then they announced that they were finishing and you know if this had been their last album it would have been a great album to go out on but as history tells us they came back six years later still one of my favourite albums got a lot of memories saw them on this tour of course and I'll give you the RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Okay, we're moving into the top 10. Ooh, this was hard. This was very hard. So coming in at number 10, second album, 1979's Magnum 2. Last appearance of Richard Bailey on the keys. So we've got Bob Catley, Tony Clark in Wally Low, Richard Bailey and Kex Goring. First track, Great Adventure. 
uh, still a very proggy track great keyboard from Richard Bailey he is a very good um, keyboard player uh, he is in Kingdom of Madness now of course and it was a delight to see him because obviously I'd never seen him and it was great to see someone from the original band uh, great track then we get the brilliant changes one of my favorite tracks love the keyboard work here from uh, Richard Bailey um, and it's got one of Tony's classic riffs catchy hooks firm favorite of the fans today and it's the song that opened up the Kingdom of Madness gig great track then we get the battle probably Richard Bailey's best contribution to this band the keyboard playing is brilliant and again the great guitar work from Tony Clarkins there and it's already starting to show where he wanted to take this band if I could live forever one of Tony's first sort of slower sort of songs that we come to custom to love and the drumming on this is lovely as well then we get the brilliant reborn uh, bass line from Wally Lowe drives this song uh, everyone else sort of works around it got a great tempo so cold in the night brilliant track uh, again showing the potential of this band and what they were going to go beautiful lyric from Bob such a great vocalist is Bob Catley he's only a little guy I mean I've stood next to him in a bar that was at Milton Keynes I think again that's when we saw them on another tour and I turned round and there he was <laughs> okay next track on here Foolish Heart great track uh, obviously it's a lot better than the uh, acoustic version the start of this is very very foreigner at the beginning you know cold as always sort of sound but then it goes into one of the more classic sounding magnum tracks staying alive another great slow record from mr clarkin very moving lyrics great track firebird brilliant track always like that one Hammond organ brilliant stuff all my not all my life great early sounding 70s rock track very good solid second album improvement on the first which is still a fantastic album but you started to see when you listen to this now why they were going to go and uh, I give this an RTO ranking of 9.1 okay coming in at number 9 we've got the 20th album released in 2018 first album that featured Lee Morris on the drums and Rick Benton on the keyboards and this was the last album Al Barrow played on so the lineup was Tony Clark in Bob Cately Al Barrow Rick Benton on the keyboards Lee Morris on the drums and we had a guest vocalist Tobias Summit on one of the tracks and I'll tell you which one that is in a minute opening track Peaches and Cream another great rocker from uh, Tony Clark in great introduction for Lee Morris on the drums uh, strong as he you just wouldn't you thought he'd been playing in this band for for the for eternity he's such a good drummer he fitted in straight away that sound had, hadn't gone because when you get new drummers in it changes a little bit but for some reason the consistency between Mickey Barker Harry James and Lee Morris there is not much difference They're, all three of them are very good because when you listen to Lee Morris play earlier tracks he plays them very very well oh show me your hands one of them galloping tracks from Magnum full of pace and energy 
terrific stuff. Um, Storm Baby, Storm Baby. Rick Benton making his mark. Uh, some great keyboards. I guess I said before, following Mark Stanway on keyboards for a band that are very dear to a lot of people it was a big ask, and I think he's done a very very good job. Uh, when the cosmic, welcome to the cosmic cabaret. Al Barrow, solid as ever, producing a great bass line that everyone else seems to follow through. Brilliant. Then we get to my favourite track on the album, uh, Lost Road to Eternity. And this is the one that features Tobias Sammet. He adds to this song. Best song on the album. Um, I'll put in the playlist, it's not the best quality because it's done off someone's phone but I put it in just to show what a great singer he is and what a great track this is it's heavy it's very progressive solid riffs it is a terrific track without love again one of these magnum tracks that's driven by drums everyone else sort of fits in round it solid track Tell me what you've got to say. This is a superb song. Uh, you know, this is the first time that, that you know you've got a brand new keyboard player and a brand new drummer fitting into a to three people have been playing together for such a long time. These new guys fitted in brilliant, and that this track shows that they are very good musicians. I think to get into Magnum you've got to be something special because Tony Clarkin is a bit of a perfectionist. So great track. And then we've got You Wanna Be Someone, solid track, great harmonies, keyboards and guitars just sound brilliant. You just don't realise this is near enough a brand new back room. Drum and keyboards, brilliant. Uh, Forbidden Masquerade. Bob Catley. Catley. It's like Scone and Scone, isn't it? Um, I'd say he has got the most consistent voice in rock. Um, brilliant track. He's fantastic on that track. It's got all the classic riffs and the bass line. Brilliant track. Glory to Ashes. Classic man. Classic Magnum track. You thought this band had been the same band for 20 years. <laughs> Just sounds different. King of the World, another Tony Clark in uh, Masterpiece here. I love his style of writing. Uh, it's fantastic. As I've said, with a new bass player and a new keyboard player, they fitted into this band so quickly. And I just found it unbelievable for a band that's sort of half a new band and I give it an RTO ranking of 9.2 okay coming in at number 8 15th album released in 2009 Into the Valley of the Moon King this features that solid early noughties Lineup of Tony Clarkin, Bob Catley, Al Barrow, Mark Stanway, and Harry James. We got an intro here, and that's what he's called his intro. It's just got some nice keyboard work for Mark um, Stanway. Swirly drums and cymbals from Harry James, and that goes straight into Cry for Yourself. Again, the keyboard drives this track. Um, very very good track um, All My Bridges Harry's just on top form with this one great rock track nothing wrong with that one Take Me To The Edge a bright driving rocker as I call this very uplifting some great guitar work from Tony Clarkin Out The Top Draw title track The Moon King dirty guitar riffs here uh, and then it goes into a scorching blues number the keyboard sort of 
keep it, this track flowing. Uh, then he goes a bit more up, up tempo, then back into a slow track. Ah, it's fantastic. One of Tony's finest. No one knows his name. Again, it's got a classic start to a Magnum track. Mark Stanway on top form. Brilliant track. Um, in my mind, in my mind, my mind's eye. Tremendous keyboard and guitar work. The combination between these two guys has been fantastic through this, their career working together, and that's why I love this band. Time to cross that river. Uh, this is quite acoustic, but it sounds a lot better than their acoustic album. I love this track. If I ever lose my mind, solid. Again, just solid magnum. Um, a face in the crown. Uh, this is one of them trucks that I'm not too keen on. It's one of them crowd waving nonsense. <sighs> nah. Not for me. Feel like treason. Short little rocker. Great. Brilliant. Blood on your barbed wire thorns. Interesting arrangements on this. You get lovely bit through this week. It's a bit acoustic, and then you get into Tony's guitar solo. And then to to add to this, the solid vocal from Bob. Great track. Again, the consistency of this band is phenomenal. They are a hard working rock band and I just think this is a superb album and I give it an RTO ranking of 9.3. Okay, coming in at number 7. Is Escape from the Shadow Garden. 18th album. On here we have got Tony Clark in Bob Catley, Al Barrow, Mark Stanway, and Harry James again, still that classic lineup from the early noughties, late noughties. Uh, Life Live Till You Die. Again, one of the best intros from Magnum. Got these little tinkly bits of on the ivories, as I call it. Uh, let me get a great big dirty riff from Tony Clarkin superb track Unwritten Sacrifice another track that's outstanding from Mark Stanway he's very dominant on this track and then Al Barrow created this bass line that sort of complemented Mark's keyboard playing fantastic Falling for the Big Plan more consistent stuff for Magnum. It is a superb track. Um, Crying in the Rain. This is an unusual track. Great drumming from Harry. Uh, and then you got these little stabs of bass from Al Barrow. And you get um, Tony putting in these little riffs. Bob's vocal, though, is quite emotional. Brilliant. Too Many Clowns, this is what I call a good old fashioned rock song, great driving riffs, Harry, Harry Drames at his best, he's one of the best drummers in the business, uh, Midnight Angel, another truck that shows off the versatility of Harry Dra James, great track, um, The Art of Compromise, it's, this one slows down to good little rocker. Don't fall asleep. One of Tony Clarkin's best ballads. Fantastic. Wisdom has had its day. It's a very short epic, this is. It's a four minute 44 song, but it's it's got the epic of, um, say, Don't Wake the Lion. But it's a very, very good track. Burning River. River. This goes back to the payday again. It's got a nice drum and bass line in this. Terrific. 
Valley of the Tears, solid track. Pretty strong. Okay, this album is the best album of the second incarnation of Magnum, without a doubt. But it also sits nicely with the, all of the albums. It is a fantastic album, played a lot. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.4. Okay, coming in at number six. Fourth album from 1983, The 11th Hour. Last to feature gets Corin, who suddenly died of cancer in 2007. Um, I think they played a sh special show for cancer in memory of Kex. He was a terrific drummer. Set them off on their on their road to fame. Um, who so on here we've got Bob Catley, Tony Clark in Wally Low, Mark Stanway in Kex Goring, the prize. I love this track. The use of the gu acoustic guitar at the start is fantastic. Then Wally comes in with a, one of his classic bass lines. And then Tony Clark, in having swapped it over, gets his electric guitar out and comes up with a great solo. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Um, breakdown. Got funny stasis. I wouldn't have called it medieval, or, but it's it's a bit feels medieval, but it isn't. Great track. It was just a little bit something different for Magnum. The Great Disaster. Some of Tony Clarkin's great guitar work in this. The showboating a little bit, but he well, deserves a little bit of love now and again. And Kex Corin's drumming on this is very solid. And it was a very distinctive sound of that early years of Magnum. The Vicious Companions. I've always called this uh, Spirit Part 2. Because it's in that vine. And I love this track. So Far Away. Uh, great track. Great keyboards from Mark Stanway on this. Hit and Run. My favourite track on the album. It's a base, very basic rock track. No fancy stuff. But it just shows what a good rock track and what a good rock band they are. One Night of Passion. This is a brilliant track. It's certainly a lot better than the acoustic <laughs> version. And I do love it. Um, the Word. This is one of them tracks that I don't like. I think you can count on my two hands how many of the tracks that I've all put down that I don't like. This is one of them. Road to Paradise. I love this. The gentle guitar from Tony. Great bass line from um, Wally. Great way to end the album. This album, I think, is always forgotten because it sits in between two albums. It sits in between Chase the Dragon and On a Storyteller's Night. Two great albums. But this is up there with it. Then it's a great album. And I give it an RTO ranking of 9.5. Right, more coffee. Okay, coming in at number five. Ninth album, released in 1992. Sleepwalking. Saw them on this tour as well. Um, this is where I bumped into Bob Catley in the, in the bar. Okay, this band, the band at the time was that 80s, uh, late 90s band. Tony Clarkin, Bob Catley, Wally Lowe, Mark Stanway and Mickey Barker. So he's a great bloke. Met him, had a really good conversation with him at Milton Keynes when he was in the Kingdom of Madness. Uh, first track, Stormy Weather. Love this song. Classic melody from Tony Clarkin. Mark Stanway on the keyboards. Superb. Next track, Too Much To Ask. Love Mickey Barker's drumming on this. From start to finish. Brilliant. And then you get the driving riffs from Tony Clarkin. Super track. You're the one. Uh, bit of a single, I think, this is. this You know radio friendly 
think it's got a catchy tune to it. I don't dislike it, I just think it's a bit ordinary. Then we get my favourite track, The Flood. This is what they open that, that tour up with. It's just an amazing track. Um, starts off with a little bit of guitar and bass. And then Mark Stanway comes in with a brilliant piece of car, um, keyboard. The drumming is brilliant on this. Then you get Bob coming in singing. One of my favourite tracks by Magnum. Broken Wheel. Gentle track. Very nice. Love it. I love these nice gentle tracks that um, Magnum have done. This is a fine example. Um, then we get just one more heartbreak. Love the start of this. Bob's vocal on this is just a killer. Absolute killer. Every woman, every man. Uh, it's okay. I don't dislike it. I just not particularly one of my favourites off the album. Next one is a fine track. Only in America. Wally Lowe's bass line in this is just phenomenal. I like it. Adds in a bit of a New York, a New York. It could be anywhere. Bit of the radio. Um, it's one of them tracks. Only in America. Now, if you've then if you've been to America, you'll see something and you'll think, "Oh, only in America this would happen." This is quite. It's got a funky bass line as well. It's very funky, but I love it. It's quite atmospheric. Then we get the title track, "Sleepwalking." Brilliant track. Good riffs, great drumming, great vocal. Prayer for the stranger. This is done in the very vein, something he could have appeared on Magnum or Kingdom of Madness, but it's been sort of brought up to to the 90s. Very, very good track. Then we have The Long Ride, another one that's a bit different by Magnum. Very good voice effects uh, from, I don't know what they did to Bob's voice, but it sounded great. Gentle guitar and drumming, and then there's even a saxophone on this, and it's terrific. Pretty solid album. A couple of tracks that are not my favourites, but as an album, it's a very solid album and it was a great tour as well. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.6. Okay, coming at number four. This is the album that really got me into Magnum. Purely on the cover. Uh, produced by the um, Kansas, Kansas producer Jet Glipsman. Chase the Dragon, 1982. Uh, first appearance of Mark Stanway in the band. And we had Bob Catley. Tony Clark in Wally Lowe, Mark Stanway and Kex Goring. First track, Soldier on the Line. One of the most atmospheric tracks written by Tony Clark in. Great track. On the Edge of the World. Love it. Solid track. Love Mark Stanway's keyboard in this. Fantastic. Then we get The Spirit. This is an amazing song. One of my favourites. Um, starts off nice acoustic. And then it goes into a great rock track. Now I've got a recording of this. That was when they played it on. If Those of you that watched, uh, listened, I mean, to the Friday Rock Show. They went live to the Hammersmith on the Vigilante tour and I do a pure acoustic version of this and the crowd sing it and it's fantastic it's on YouTube so check it out 
Okay, next track, my favourite track off this album, and I still think it's one of Mark Stanway's best intros he ever done with Magnum, and it's Sacred Hour. It's just a brilliant piece of keyboard, and it is in the playlist. I think it's from a later concert, but it is fantastic. Uh, walking in the, the straight line, great little rocker. Great bass line from Wally Lowe, followed up some great drumming from Kex Goring. We all play the game, some swirling keyboards in this. Um, one of them classic early tracks by Magnum, really, really good. The Teacher, again, got some great riffs in this. Fantastic. The Lights Burned Out, one of the great ballads from Magnum. Mark's piano work on this is terrific. Okay, technically that's where the album ends. But I've got an expanded version and one of the tracks on there that originally didn't appear on the album is Back to Earth. I had to include it because it's about my third favourite song by Magnum. I love the galloping start to this. It's it's a fantastic track and I had to give it some mention somewhere and as it's on the expanded of Chase the Dragon I thought I'd do it. Brilliant album, the one that started it for me and I love this album and I brought it round about 1984 so I've been had it a long time and I love it. Uh, so I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.7 Okay, coming in at number three, six album, released in 1986, Vigilante. Uh, this has got Bob Catley on it, Tony Clark in, Wally Lowe, Mark Stanway, Mickey Barker. Back in vocals on one of the tracks is Roger Taylor from Queen. I think he was produced. He produced this album. Uh, and we've got Daniel Bergwijn on saxophone. Okay, first track, Lonely Night. We all love this track. Love the lyrics. Nice arrangement. Fantastic track. Need a lot of love. I love this. Uh, it's one of Tony's finest songs. Written about what was going on at the time. Lebanon, someone build a wall in Beirut, Berlin, sorry. Uh, it's, a, it's a true fan's favourite. Um, Sometime Love, driving rocker. Love the riffs in this. Then it goes into Midnight, You Won't Be Sleeping. Got bongos in this. Saxophone. Very 80s, but a really good track. Red on the Highway, another great track. Even though it's got that drumming, 80s drumming on it, 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 it sort of gets distracted by the great riffs of Tony Clarkin. Holy Rider, love the opening to this. Great drumming from Mickey. Love the riffs. It's galloping about, it feels like you're on a horse. Great track. Let me get When the World Comes Down. I can see what they were trying to do here but uh, I wouldn't say it's my favourite track then we get the brilliant Vigilante classic track off the album best track on the album um, I love this track always have I love that opening riff uh, last track on the album, Backstreet Key. I love this. I love that keyboard at the beginning. It's not the strongest track on the album, but I do like that um, little keyboard run of the ring. Got some great guitar work in here as well. Okay. This was probably the most overproduced album. Very 80s. But it holds a very special place in my heart. As this is the very first 
CD that I ever ever brought. I think when this come out, I brought, I got my first stacking thing, you know, and all, all the Sony gear and all that. And I thought, right, I'm going to go and buy some CDs. And I walked into the record shop, and I knew Magnum had got a new album out. So I thought, I found it. Well, obviously I found it because of the brilliant cover. Uh, brought the thing, loved it. And also, this is the first time I ever saw Magnum that year at the Milton Keynes Bowl when they supported Marillion. So that's why it's at number three. And it's a very, very special album. And that's the only reason that it's that high up for me. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.8. Okay, coming in at number two, seventh album released in 1988. I saw them a couple of times on this tour and it is Wings of Heaven. Um, Bob Cately, Tony Clarkin, Wally Lode, Mark Stanway and Mickey Barker again. Opens up with Days of No Trust. Okay, it's one of the most played and popular songs by Magnum but I like this one. It is a really good track. Very catchy, great track. Uh, Wild Swan, love this. Love that stabbing sound and the screeching guitars. I just how, like how the tempo changes halfway through it. Brilliant stuck track. Okay, start talking love. Okay, when this album come out, I think I've got it literally within days of it being released. On the first time I went, oh, this is a great little rocker. But as time has gone on, it's gone down in the filers. If I never hear this again, I won't be upset. Set. This, if you got a compilation album and there's a Magnum track on it, I can guarantee it's this. This is played to death. And. It's a shame because it is a good track, but because it's played to death, and MTV played it to death, it just I just fell out of love with it. Um, One Step Away, another great track, a little bit different. Some nice drumming here for Mickey Barker. It just shows that he's not just a heavy rock drummer. He can play delicate bits as well. Then we get It Must Have Been Love. Classic song from... Tony, one of his great ballads, great uh, bass line from Wally Lowe though, Whew. Different Worlds, now this is one of the deep cut tracks off this album, it's really funky bass line, nice driving guitars, and it's going back to the early days a little bit, very very good, uh, Pray For The Day, one of my favourite tracks off the album, I love I love the live version of this because it gets the crowd singing, great lyrics, great catchy lyrics. Then we come to the classic, Don't Wake the Lion. Again about the war, oh, everyone will be home by Christmas. Superb song, out the top drawer. And that's why I give it an RTO ranking of 9.9 .9, this album because it is a superb album even though it's got start talking love on. Okay, coming in at number one. This has been my favorite album forever. When I put the ranking list together, this went straight to the top in ink, because <laughs> it wasn't gonna get budged. Came out in 1985 on a storyteller's night. This featured Bob Catley, Tony Clarkin, Wally Lowe, Mark Stanway, and the only appearance of Jim Simpson on drums. And we have Mo Birch back doing some boat singing. Okay, first track, Half Owl Jerusalem. Great song, classic. Classic intro, great bass line. It's just awesome from start to finish. Just Like an Arrow, again, fantastic track. Love this track. Great drumming from Jim Simpson. Uh, driving riff. Then we get the 
favourite track of all time on a storyteller's night. Beautiful song. Great guitar solo in this. But the best version is actually on the Wings of Heaven tour DVD. When you got the keyboard, you got uh, guitar solo. And then Mark Stanway does a brilliant keyboard bit. Brilliant. Um, before First Light, love the guitar work in this. Top draw stuff. Then we get Tony Clarkin's finest slow trot. Features Mo Birch on backing vocals, La Morte Danson, Night of the Dancing Dead. Awesome track. Um, oh no, I have that, you know, they did this Kingdom of Madness, did this, and Mo Birch was super on this. It's a beautiful song, and I love it to death. Endless Love. Great drumming from Jim Simpson on this, drives the track along with a great bass line and Tony Clarkin's classic riffing makes it a top draw song. Two Hearts, what can you say about this? The pastiche guitar playing at the beginning and then that driving galloping riff. Great track. Bob's singing on this is superb as ever. Still Your Heart, solid track, great riffs. What you just what you need. St All England's eyes, stunning track. Great drumming, keyboard on this is brilliant. Really drives this song. And then the last track, the last dance, one of Tony's stunning so songs. Mark Stanway's piano work is brilliant. On the storyteller's night probably contain some of the greatest songs that Tony Clarkin ever wrote. This album is just classy top draw material and that's why it's my number one and it gets a 10 out of 10. It's just a fantastic album. Okay this has been a real long one but it's been a great one to do. Um, we've just got to go through the process of getting it ready for you guys to watch. Um, so that's all we got time for today. Um, we're back tomorrow and we've got a then and now and we're looking at probably my second favourite band of all time, ACDC. Um, and then we've got some album covers and tomorrow's album covers is Led Zeppelin. A little bit of Led Zeppelin tomorrow and we've got the update and I'm hoping we'll have some fantastic news to tell you tomorrow. So that's all for today, so have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.